Hello everyone, Enigma here again, and today I'm going to give you a basic tutorial on Voxel Sniper. So we're going to make ourselves a little floating island, because I feel like that's what we should do. It will have one or two more advanced commands, but that's fine. So, if I uh, switch into first person again. Um, Alright, so the tools you use in Voxel Sniper are the arrow and the gunpowder. The arrow will tend to do what your command put in, and the gunpowder will mostly, not always, but mostly, do the opposite. So if you have a command that makes stuff grow, um, the gunpowder will make it shrink down. So, But sometimes it has completely other effects, and sometimes it does the same thing. It all depends on the brush. So, there are two basic performers for the voxel sniper. Performers are that first little letter you put in. They're slash V and slash B. Now, slash V is for your voxel. You tend to use this to set the block type you want to use. So, slash V space stone. Now I'm going to be using stone. Now, if you're looking at a block and you use slash B, it'll set it to that block. Slash B is to set your brush. Now, you hit space, then you use the performer. That is, the ball, the voxel, the disc are the three basics. We're going to use... Let's use... um. Let's start with disc. So that's a D. Now, if you type slash B space, and then you put a number, that'll set the size of the voxel. We'll use 5 for now. Now, you can go on. There's other um, variables you can add in. You can change block IDs and all this stuff. But for now, we're going to stick to relatively basic. Now here's probably one of the few advanced commands I'm going to put in. It's the range command. So slash vs, that's a different perf uh, basic performer. But, yeah. Um, vs space range space 10. We have, now I can click at anything be up until 10. At 10, it'll just place it. Um, I do this so that I can place an island. So if we go like that, it this forms. Oh, uh, slash u, because everyone makes mistakes, doesn't do. We're going to reset it to slash b space d space true. And it'll have a proper circle this time. Alright. Now that we have this, I'm going to slash b space 10, and we're going to toggle off the range. Now, if you hit it with the arrow, it'll go on the same level? Yeah, same level. So I could just expand this out. But if I use gunpowder, it'll go up a level. So, I'm going to expand this out a little more. <laughs> now remember, this is just how I do it. Um, once you know the commands, you can come up with your own ways of doing everything. Um, but, let's, uh, let's give it a little bit of a unique shape. Don't worry about getting it too perfect at this point, because you can do a lot of messing with it. Let's give it a little bit of a crescent shape. Oh. Don't need to be voxeling in the night. Alright, that should be good. Now, we have our base. 
So what we're going to use from now on, well for the most part, is I'm going to use slash b space e. That, that makes an environment brush. Space fill. Fill will pull. And then the um, gunpowder is now set to um, melt, which does the opposite. Now, obviously you can't click outside of the world, but we're also going to use to build up the surface a bit, slash B space B, which is mixed a ball, space blend ball. What? Oh, blend ball. I'm going to go down to five. The arrow blends it down. The <laughs> gunpowder pulls it out. Now we're just kind of trying to get some size on this. You can go back and forward. You can also just hit balls of um, stone onto this, and that would do similar things. So we're just going to mess around with this a bit. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. so we can still play with it. Let's pull this up a little bit so we have a little bit of a mountain up here. And we'll go down below and mess with this a little bit. Um, I use this for a lot of things. I'm no way an expert, but I can definitely make some interesting stuff with it. Um, I've made everything from volcanoes to other floating islands to an awesome island chain that we turn into a PvP arena. All kinds of stuff. Alright, that should be good down there. Now, I'm going to switch back over to slash b space e space fill. And we'll use this to just tweak it a bit. So fill will only pull existing ones out. You can't do as much creating as you can with um, blend ball. So we're going to pull this See, and it stops when you're out of blocks. So we're going to go slash, go back to blend balls so we can pull this out more. Now we're going to go slash. Back to this. And we're going to melt this down a bit. Now, if you go back and forward a lot, it'll create more random terrain. So if, see how that's like really even? I kind of pull it over here a little bit and push it back. It starts to break up a bit. So, if you want really natural looking stuff, just play with it a lot and it'll break up a bit. And remember, it is terrain, it doesn't have to be perfect. So, don't be afraid to mess with it. I always do this, you don't have to, but I like how it works the train a little bit. 
B space E space smooth. Now this will kind of smooth out your um your train a little bit. Let me sure I'm on ten. So you just hit it and see it smooths it out, and it gets rid of some of that crap that builds up. Now if you want a really rough looking train, go for it. If you want it to be a little smoother, go with this. Now that looks pretty good. Oh, let's get rid of that. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with. I'm gonna rough it up a little bit. Just a little bit, because it got a little too square. So, that should be good. Now, from here, we're going to make it look kind of natural. So, what I'm going to do, you can do this in two ways. Um, so, we're going to do the slash B space over space D, and then when you put the number you put after D is the depth that this this brush will go down in blocks. Now, one easy way you can do this is just set it to two. Go over everything with dirt, and then go over a layer with grass. I'll explain more about that later. But I like to make it look a little more natural and bury it. So I start with a over say D five or six. I'm gonna go with five because this isn't that thick. And I make it a smaller brush, so like three. And then I'm going to set my voxel to dirt. And you just kind of hit a few spots. Just kind of try and get a little bit of a even coat. And then I go down by twos. But I'm going to go down to three. And I'm going to go up to a 6. I'm going to hit a few more spots. Try and get some of them close by that. Alright, slash B space over slash D 2. And then I'm just going to hit a few more. I'm going to do over, over, D1, and I'm going to set my voxel to grass. And I'm going to use 15, because everything needs to get covered. And this will just put grass over the top layer. And you'll notice once you put the grass in, it's like all of a sudden, pow. <laughs> you have grass island and it looks good um but yeah that's about it for really basics um you can mess with it uh try and find your own tricks and all that stuff and yeah just have fun i'll do a more advanced video later for some crazy stuff so that was fun. I'll see you guys next time. And if you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever floats your boat. Thanks. See you guys.